Hello, I am Esbankam from Kaiser Power Electronics and as you have probably guessed from the title of this video, I have finally gotten a package. Have you ever wanted something to happen so much that it's like it's it, Christmas doesn't even describe it as a kid? That because back in April 2015 I backed the FPS uh, 1000 Kickstarter. This was for the uh, Platinum unit um, and then in May I chose to upgrade that to the Platinum Double. Now the whole project went on and on and when it, we finally got to December 2016 Graham unfortunately had to announce that the project had ran into problems due to some uh, sensors not uh, being able to deliver what he thought they could. So he had to offer people to either get their money back or get the cameras that they had ordered. But this would take some time because he was, I guess, out of money. So I chose to get my camera as I had basically ordered what was the um, new Kickstarter campaign that he made, which was called the FPS 1000 HD. So. Now what we have all been waiting for, I have here the package, it's unopened, I haven't even looked inside it yet, <laughs> because I did not order batteries, I did not get an adapter in time, so um, I have actually had no chance of powering it, so I have had this sitting at my desk for two whole days now, and my girlfriend is a little uh, wary because she she has no idea how I could let this sit on my desk for two full days without even opening the box because it's just that I have looked so much forward to receiving this camera that it feels like I, I would not want to break the suspense because now, now it's here, now I have to use it. Uh -huh, all these decisions I have to take and stuff to buy and set up a proper place to film, get lightning, it was just easier to have it sit on the table with all the weird Chinese things you buy on you uh, on eBay but so I finally got this two two years seven months after bagging it which is actually not too bad considering uh, that it was only a working prototype at the time and I think it's very honorable of uh, Graham to actually uh, commit to deliver the cameras uh, instead of just bailing out and closing down his company. So, props for that. So, uh, let's take a look inside the box. First, uh, I'm <laughs> sorry for the uh, poor angle, but this is what I could just uh, get set up uh, quite quickly. So here we have it, the box. Two stickers on it. Not much else. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so here we have it. The uh, the camera unit itself and the uh, stock lens that it has. Which is... A... Uh, if you can see this. Fujian China TV lens. 35mm 1.7. So this will do for most common stuff, but I also have some other um, C-mount lenses uh, that I can try uh, on the camera. Also comes with a uh, SD card adapter and a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card. So the one thing that we have all been waiting to see, the camera itself. To see it, I didn't even open the the back yet. So I don't know if you can see the sensor. that the first impressions uh, of this uh, is that it has a lot of sharp edges for the uh, for the back cover here 
very sharp uh, plastic edges. And a few of the screws at the front is not uh, probably aligned with the surface. That's a shame, really. So the battery compartment here. Mm. Like that. Okay, one does not simply open that. That's a good thing, I assume. Don't have batteries flying all over. Feels like I can pull it off, but I assume I would have to lift this all the way up. to get that tab out. Okay, there it is. Okay, so uh, this is where the two uh, 18650 uh, batteries go. And from uh, what I have read on the comment section that uh, you should be very careful uh, with the, the batteries touching the uh, aluminium frame because you will short circuit the battery but seems like that there's no harm done to the camera itself uh, so you have to dismount the negative side of the battery first in the back we have the, uh, the large touchscreen but uh, that's about as much as I can show you now because uh, in the uh, manual there is nothing stated about the size of the adapter plug other than it takes 7 to 9 volts at 3 ampere but it says absolutely nothing about the shape and size of the uh, power plug so I could only guess that it was a barrel plug since it's round and I bought a uh, rotary switch adapter uh, 3 ampere that can switch between 7.5 and, uh, and 9 volt DC and I will see you which makes this run uh, best on the camera. Apparently when you buy a adapter and you can see that it says it has 2.1, 2.5 millimeter barrel jacks, that refers to the inner diameter of the jack, not the outer diameter. So there is absolutely no way I can turn on my camera. So I guess I'm just going to wait for the batteries to arrive, at least that cannot go wrong. Or can it? But um, enough with all the talking. This was the unpacking of the FPS 1000 HD camera. And I will, as soon as I can, get some uh, footage done with it and show you what it can do. So I'm really looking forward to uh, show you some more about this camera. So. Until next time, see ya.